once again, Steve, Nastia, and Tim, joined by the Olympic silver medalist, Michaela Skinner. We've got the full deep bench here, four across, and Michaela, a lot to get to. Of course, we'll jump back to the Olympics in a moment, but let's catch up on what's been going on with you most recently, including training for American Ninja Warrior. Yeah, some big stuff going on. I can't believe it. You know, just falling in Nastia's footsteps here. But I'll give you some pointers. Yeah, I need it. I need it. Haven't been working out, so it's been rough. But, Jay, yeah, just a lot of fun things. I've come out with a leotard line, training for American Ninja Warrior. My husband and I will do, be doing the couples edition, and I just found out I think it will be airing April 13th. Amazing. So we go in and... You know, it's going to happen cool. really fast, so scared, but ready. And then um, finishing school at the University of Utah, so finishing my last year and, you know, kind of just retiring from the gymnastics life. So it's cool being able to sit back in the stands, doing some MC stuff here at the meet and just getting all these experiences and getting my feet wet a little bit. So speaking about being at a competition, let's kind of go back to the Olympics and in Tokyo. And, and it was kind of a little bit of a whirlwind for you. You thought you were done with the competition and then all of a sudden get a text or a call and then you find yourself with an Olympic medal standing there <laughs> on the podium. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, the main goal was just to make the Olympic team for me, and I didn't know whether I would be competing individually or not or on the team, and then I got the individual spot, and I was really hoping to place for, you know, floor and vault and have the opportunity to maybe go in, and I didn't. So, you know, I thought I was going home, got to step in for Simone, crazy story, and all of a sudden, you, before you know it, I'm with a silver medal around my neck up on podium, and... It was funny because Simone was like, you weren't even crying. And I was like, I'm just tired of crying and shedding tears. I was just so happy. And so definitely rewarding and just was so grateful to be up there one last time. Well, a very different experience than 2016 in Rio, where you were oh so close to making that team. A lot of people, I think, including yourself, thought you should have been on that team. Contrast the feelings you had there in Rio, sitting on the sidelines as an alternate to what just happened to you in Tokyo. Yeah, I mean, being an alternate, Alternate super hard and you know a lot of people that haven't been in that position or had that experience don't really know what it's like and so I just remember sitting in the stands just having that burning desire like I want to be out there like I was so close so being able to finally make that Olympic team and knowing that all that hard work paid off was just incredible I mean the feelings the emotions there's nothing like being out there on that Olympic podium and I'm sure you know you know all the emotions you get in the rush and just knowing that you know I'm an Olympian it's real it happened so and an Olympian forever absolutely yes. what a journey awesome thank you and Michaela before we let you go what's harder the Olympic vault or the salmon ladder and the warp wall in American Ninja Warrior okay definitely the warp wall <laughs> I'm, I'm too small. I'm too <laughs> small. I can't run up it, but lots of work ahead. All right. Thanks for joining us awesome, as we you. continue from.